Daniel Rincon. And what's the purpose of this exercise right here? This exercise is to practice the cell extraction since we're going to have a class in corrections at KCAL next year. We just want to give the students a feel for what corrections field is like. So in order for them to know what it's going to be like, I give them an opportunity for them to do a cell extraction. My name is uh, Ilya. And uh, what class is this? This is uh, law enforcement. And what was going on today? Today we showed how a, a SWAT team comes in and tackles with the shield and protects how we tackle them and how we put the victims into custody. And what was your role in this? My role was uh, to knock down the victim so that he goes on the ground so it's easier for my team to bring him down and take him out. So what's your name? My name is Christopher. And what was your role in this? I was the supporter and basically what the supporter does is um, they basically make sure that the suspect doesn't hit themselves, get it any more for the injuries that they're causing themselves or else um, they are held responsible for the suspect's injuries within the cell. Thank you. Get him up! Move him! And what, uh, what are the, all the roles in this exercise? In this exercise, you have obviously the inmate who is playing either a violent, combative, or sometimes a suicidal subject. Somebody may be hurting themselves, and the jail personnel are responsible for his life. So in order to do that, to get him out safely, they're going to have to do a, an extraction of this inmate. Uh, for the cell extraction, you have a supervisor who is in charge of giving the commands to the inmate, try to get him to comply. And then you have a team of five, obviously the supervisor, and then you have a point man, which is the first guy with the shield to use the shield in order to protect themselves, to protect the other inmates, uh, correction, to protect the other officers from the inmates turning around them and trying to hurt them in that sense. So third guy obviously will go grab one arm, fourth guy will grab the left, left leg, and the fifth guy will grab the right leg to prevent, to prevent the inmate from kicking, punching, things like that, so make, make sure everybody has a role. Supervisor is still responsible to make sure everything is being compliant, that everybody knows their role. If somebody does not grab a leg, then supervisor is giving commands. If the suspect is still very violent, supervisor will come in in situations and tase the individual so that they could comply.